Good morning, leaders and coaches. It's the second session of Spark Leadership and Coaching Program. I want to offer you a free no-tech life hack. And what I want you to do, sit straight, tall, feel confident, and smile. Your body language shapes who you are. It affects how others see you, but it also changes how you see yourself. When your body posture is good, even if you don't feel confident, it actually affects the testosterone and cortisol levels of your brain. Just tiny tweaks to our body posture can lead to big and positive change in our life. Meditation actually originated from India back in 5000 BC. The purpose is to achieve our peak state. The first phase is connection. Second phase is clearing. Third phase is what we call the gratitude, visualization, declaration, and lastly to end it with some surrender. Relax and when you breathe in, I want you to breathe in through your nose, breathe out through your mouth. The gratitude to share your wins. Meaning, the things that you appreciate about number one, your body, your health, number two, your house, your family, your relationships. Never tell yourself that you're not grateful for at least one thing in your life. Your biggest and wildest dream. I want you to all declare it. Maybe now you're more honest that I did not do my part last week, which is why I'm recommitting myself today. Imagine yourself being in your bed, ready to rest. Heavenly Father, I bring back all the glory and honor and trust. I'd like to give you a name and call you from now on Sparks. Bakit Spark? As you finish this program, my hope is that you will be that spark of light that will make this world brighter. Hello, Sparks! <laughs> When we say leader, kasi dapat helping eh. Mapush mo o mapalabas mo yung skills ng bawat member mo. Ano yung pagkakamali? Pag-usapan ko paano siya maaayos. As a leader, we need to be open to collaborate ideas. Oh. What do you think are the old principles and mindsets na hindi na nag-work ngayon? Leadership has titles. Kung baga before when um, ako personally when I was in elementary and high school para ka maging leader dapat ikaw yung top one. To be able to work from home. Uh, where in, in the past kung hindi tayo mag work sa office parang hopeless na tayo magkaroon ng trabaho. But the times are changing. The pandemic has proven that people can still be productive even when we're working from home. Leadership is collective. It's leaders leading a movement of change. It's about the leader seeking and enlisting others to lift each other up including ourselves as leaders. There goes the old saying that uh, there's uh, no I in team just as you cannot handle a team kung ikaw lang mag That's why it's collective because everyone plays a role in leadership. My challenge to everyone is to go forward to work because we live in a VUCA world. Yung volatility, uncertainty, complexity, and ambiguity of this world. We live in a world that is rapidly and unpredictably changing. It's a complicated world. In fact, tayo mismo, napaka-komplikado natin mga tao. Radical, no? If we're gonna break it down, no? radical means going to the root or the source. And transformation means creating change through improvement. Facilitator of collaboration and co-creation so that everyone will go higher together. Co-creation is defined as the collaborative development of new value. Co-creation is also a form of collaborative innovation. Wherein ideas are shared, then you improve it together. If we're not resolute, if we're not sharing honest feedback to our team, they will not grow. We are not helping them. So the best way to help each other is to really be candor, speak truth with love. And that is what we are doing here in this community. You're not just working to improve yourself, kailangan sabay kayo ng team mo. You just need to be open to your team. If you need to provide a feedback, may it be negative or positive, um, it should be shared para kasi sa growth yun ng bawat isa. Leaders should listen to the members on what are they suggesting. Isipin muna ng mga leaders kung makakahelp ba yung suggestions ng mga members. I know I started being a leader as a boss and I learned it the hard way. Napapaaway ka dun sa mga tao mo, ganyan, hindi ka nagkakaintindihan because you don't listen. Natutunan ko kay Coach Russ, no? Minsan na daming gusto mo share because we cannot park nyo, yung insights nyo, no? It has to be processed right there. Being exposed in this organization no, will allow you to you know, raise that flashlight of awareness so that you can take responsibility of creating better choices in your life. And that is the goal of coaching, which we're going to be talking more in our next session. Thank you so much, everyone, for attending our second session of Spark Leadership and Coaching Program. Enjoy your weekend. Good night, everyone.